using a 14 millimeter socket and our bar here, we're gonna go ahead and loosen up our tensioner and remove the serpentine belt off of the power steering pulley here. And just set that aside. Using our 14 millimeter deep socket, we're gonna go ahead and loosen and remove this back bolt here for the power steering pump. Go ahead and set that aside. Let's go ahead and get our lower forward bolt here. Go ahead and remove that bolt, set that aside. I'm gonna go ahead and put some towels in here on each side of the power steering pump. We're gonna go ahead and remove our hoses off of our power steering pump. So we wanna make sure that we try and catch any of the residual power steering fluid that might be coming out of the hoses. Now on this unit here, we're gonna go ahead and pop off our cap here. And we're gonna pop off the cap on this side here. Set this down. Let's go ahead and use our pliers. Undo this hose clamp. I want to go ahead and just kind of break this free. Work this hose off. And we're going to take our new pump. And we're literally just going to pop this right onto the new pump. Like so. I'm just going to set that down right here. On this side here, we're gonna use our 10 millimeter socket and remove these two bolts. Let's go ahead and pop off our hose here. We're gonna take our old pump and just swing it over. We're gonna set that right into a catch can. We're gonna bring our pump over, line this up, pop that inside, and go ahead and get our bolt started. Always want to start those bolts by hand. Once you get those started, we'll go ahead and snug those down. On the hose on the front, we're just going to relocate our clamp back up into position. And pull out our towels here. I want to go ahead and position this back down. Let's go ahead and get our two bolts started. And we just want to go ahead and get both of these bolts started by hand and then we'll snug them both down together. Now these bolts here, I just want to make sure that they're good and tight. Go ahead and repeat for the other. So at this point here, we're ready to go ahead and install our belt. We want to make sure that the belt is in all of the grooves and all of the corresponding pulleys. Make sure the belt is on your tensioner there. Let's go ahead and grab your towel. You want to wipe everything down. Next, what we want to do is go ahead and start up the vehicle. The power steering pump is going to go ahead and start cycling fluid through. So you might hear a little bit of a power steering whine until the fluid is pulled from our reservoir right here. At this point here, you want to let it run for a little bit. Cycle the steering wheel left and right, lock to lock a few times. This pump should consume some of this fluid here. You want to check the fluid. There's going to be a low and high or a hot and cold on the reservoir. Go ahead and fill it up to the upper portion and you should be all set.
As you can see, as we cycle our steering wheel left and right, it was able to consume some of that fluid. Let's go ahead and top this off with a recommended fluid from the manufacturer. Use a clean funnel. Top off the fluid.